didn't get picked for TDU, which was a bit disappointing. It put a bit of fire in my belly. And maybe go to the next level even again. Yeah, so stage one of uh, Gippsland, coming into it, I felt really good. So I haven't raced since national, so it's been a while. Coming into a tour of Gippsland, I'm a bit nervous. Just didn't have the legs. I don't know what it was. Like, I didn't feel sore. I just felt fatigued. I don't know, fatigued in the legs, probably. It was a pretty tough day. Like, it was, pre it was definitely on, uh, like, first lap on the climb. I think, yeah, people getting dagged then, especially after, like, the crash. And then halfway up, I got dropped again and then just got hooped. And on the last hill, I um, cramped big, big time, about six times in the left leg, and I just had to really ease it. Got caught by like miles and a few other, a lot of bunches. Oh, that's number one for character building for sure, especially that uh, last lap. Fuck, I love it. Can I? Oh, thank you, mate. Still all right? As you can see, we're all out and about right now having uh, brekkie together. The reason for that is obviously a tour down under, we were a bit segregated. At the end of that whole tour, we all sort of came together and agreed that we really wanted to be together as a unit. It's super important because that, that you know, obviously keeps it all friendly at base camp, but then that really does translate um, onto the road when you're able to talk and feel like you can really sort of approach your teammates. Uh, this is breakfast, <laughs> and uh, we've got our outside uh, mobile kitchen here, and uh, we've been having toast and coffee and smoothies and um, um, all the riders' uh, typical breakfasts. So enjoying the lovely weather of uh, Victoria. Considering today's conditions aren't nearly as tough, like it's not as hot, it's not as windy, Guys who lost a bit of time yesterday or, you know, suffered are really going to put their best foot forward today. Stage one didn't go to plan. I had to regather myself. 10 k's in, a break went. I bridged across and I'm like, gee, I'm feeling good today. So I got to the break. I didn't even sit on it. I just went straight past. Um, and I was out the front for about a minute on my own. I'm like, oh, gee, this is pretty hard. And then luckily Nick White come across. And I'm like, oh crap, and then he started rolling really hard and I'm like, I'm really hurting here. So I'm like, just dig deep and we got to the climb and I'm like, oh no, this is going to hurt. Um, and then a couple other guys come across, which was handy. Um, we got over the climb, still feel pretty sore. Um, but then we rode into it and I come good. Um, and just rolling turns all day. I kind of had to conserve my energy a little bit. And then the bunch caught us with about 10k to go. Um, and I was pretty buckled. Um, I got back in the bunch and my hemi cramped. I'm like, just gotta take a good deep breath and have a gel and just kind of relax for a good couple of minutes. And then um, the boys regathered at the front and we were all together and then uh, I think it was Kuba said, righto, let's ride the front. 4k to go, we had everyone on the front. Uh, ben and Aiden were just doing double turns, which was unreal. Um, and then coming into about a k to go, ARA came up next to us with uh, Inform. And I went to about 500 metres to go and dropped miles off on uh, ARA's wheel. And he did it from there. Straight through the last roundabout and there's a bit of boxing on. Um, and then straight around the left corner. No, lucky I was on uh, Brenton Jones's wheel coming into the final straight around the corner. Um, he chopped me a little bit, so 
I think a couple of guys come past me on stage and I basically grabbed a whole handful of breaks and then had to go again and yeah. <laughs> I got oh, some. Dude. I didn't. Yeah, it'd be like oh, I didn't smells forget, a bit, but I didn't forget about you. It even smells of champagne. <laughs> to be honest, lead outs aren't overcomplicated. It's just a matter of making sure everyone's together and organised, um, and not. I guess it takes a bit of experience of of learning to be able to read the finish and know when's too early and when's too late because. If you go after every other lead out train started, it's too fast to do anything. But if you go too early, you're gonna blow. A big problem a lot of people have with lead out trains is getting like chopped and then the train separated and that sort of thing. It's much harder to do it to a team that's riding hard in the, in the gutter. Um, and it's it sort of puts teams in the other situation where the only thing they can do is ride around you. They can't interfere. That was... <laughs> What camera? <laughs> Please tell me you can. <laughs> I didn't have the I completely forgot it was there. As soon as oh the my God. <laughs> As soon as the racing I finished the race, I was like, who oh, fucking camera. put this camera on? <laughs> I'll tell you, we could recreate it like in the digital sphere, like yeah. with the I I totally as soon as the racing started, I was in I was like in the race. My younger sister rides as well, so my mum and dad are 100% committed to us. Like, they just drop everything for us. And yeah, me and my sister are very lucky, like, just with like the training aspect of if it's motor pacing, dad will come out and do that. Um, yeah, it's just been awesome just having that positive mindset going into a race and everyone backing me. So, it makes a real difference when you're confident going into a race. and you know you can do it and also backing up with the training like you know you can do anything if you put your mind to it and, uh, tomorrow um i'll just see how the legs feel but i think anything's possible like i'm up there like i was basically on cam scott's wheel across the line so if i get dropped off in front of him like we never know we could be hands up so. Our crit is our 42k crit or 30 lap crit, so it should be done around 50 minutes. Um, it's mostly flat, wind not too blowy, but it wouldn't shake up the race too much. That was a no dose, um, so just caffeine pill basically just keeps the heart flying because uh, it won't be flying hard enough already. <laughs> Favorite moment from the Super Bowl halftime show? I don't watch it. <laughs>
dug really deep. And managed two laps to go. I was on, I don't know, I think it was Cam Scott or Nick White's wheel. So pretty good posse coming into the last corner. But then, yeah, just say so gap me around the corner. But yeah, right in for third, which is bloody unreal. So yeah. can't thank all the boys enough. Like we were on the front with, I think it was eight laps to go, and we just held that positioning. We're getting a lot of respect now, so which is great. So. Super work, mate. Well done. Anyone that can find the strength and the fortitude to put themselves out there and um, and race and push through all the pain and all the effort is uh, very special. They're very special people. And I think it's got a lot to do with um, you know mental health, men's health, um, road safety, just everything. And aligning my brand and my product with good health and good living, I think that's very important in today's world. So at Lush Desserts, we totally support cycling and absolutely anything to do with cycling. Yes, yeah, it's, it's funny, like the other day when we got, got a podium, everyone was just absolutely ecstatic. Today, I kind of get the feeling everyone had that little sense of, oh, could have got a little bit more. But that's good. It's a good way to come from a tour, I think. So massive, massive response from everyone from, from Tour Down Under. Really, got the way we turned this around, just the whole vibe, absolutely stoked on it. So. Next up is Warney. Guys, I really hope you're enjoying these videos. Now, make sure you do subscribe to the channel because hopefully we're going to do lots more of this stuff as the year goes on. Like the video. Let us know if you are into this kind of stuff. And we're going to keep churning it out. I promise you there will be plenty of shots of Ben Carmen shirts off to come. To do that, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you soon. Get in there, Lee. Yeah, I need to help out, Lee. There's two of us. Yeah. Bye-bye. Quite the looks.